What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you another vacuum in my collection. Yes, it's another Hoover. So this is a Hoover Wind Tunnel Supreme that I bought off Craigslist for only $20. And, and I've always loved the look of these wind tunnels. And I've always wanted a wind tunnel ever since I got my Tempo which is the lower end model or the more base version of the wind tunnel just to kind of compare the two and I will say this is probably one of the one of the best plastic made cheap clean air vacuums that I've ever used and yes this is a clean air based vacuum for those of you who've known Hoover for at least 20 years knows their uprights were direct air which is where the fan which is where all the suction goes through a fan and blows into the bag whereas the clean air or bypass design has the motor inside the the base of the vacuum and all the suction gets drawn into it and it goes through a series of filters and exhausts out clean air hence the name clean air but anyway I'm getting off topic here this was one of Hoover's first successful clean air based vacuums since the dialomatic from the the 1970s and these these wind tunnels first hit production in the I think it was the mid to late 90s but and I've always liked the translucent blue color of these wind tunnels there were a lot of color schemes for these I've seen one that was in translucent green Another was was a kind of a dark maroon color. And and these are just all in all excellent vacuums. I've always wanted one because I wanted to see how they perform because I've been exposed to elites in my childhood and I have five of them in my collection. So anyway, let's go and give you a run through of the machine. When I first got this machine, it didn't have the little plastic door up top that houses your cleaning tools so I was lucky enough to find one brand new on eBay here's your dusting brush your upholstery tool this one also didn't come with it it's another eBay find I was lucky enough to even find one in tan and your crevice tool anyway, right down here this one does have the bag check indicator right here. I've seen some variations of the wind tunnels that have the bag check indicator as an electronic light down here next to the embedded dirt finder, which, which let me give you a close up on the dirt finder. Pardon my shadow. But anyway, carpet is clean when light turns green. And this here's your sensitivity for high and regular. I always like to leave it on regular because I've always thought if you put it on high it would would potentially overload the system but I'm no expert on these so I, I just don't like tampering with it and to be brutally honest I don't really trust any of these any of these dirt finders because I remember some time ago when I had the anniversary edition wind tunnel self-propelled the the sensor inside for the dirt sensor got dirty over time and it would just constantly stay red all the time and every occasionally now and then it would flicker on to green but for the most part it was it would always stay on red i think this sensor must be more clean than that one was but anyway to this day i've never trusted them since then but Anyway, inside here, it does take type Y bags. I'm running a generic HEPA bag. And you can find these, in the genuine Hoover HEPA bags, but they're a little bit more expensive. And I was lucky enough to find this style of HEPA generic bag for like only my memory serves me correct, $8 for 12 packs of these on eBay. So that was actually a very good deal. Down here 
is your pre-motor fil pre filter right there. back on. And off here to the side is your post motor filter right here. It's a lot larger than the Tempo post motor filters and it and it doesn't sit inside where you have to take the bag cover off and take it off on the side to gain access. It's just right there on the side so you don't have to take the bag door off. It's got a 12 amp motor and Hoover cleaning performance is rating at 26 of the cleaning effectiveness per amp. I really don't know why Hoover put that there. I'm convinced that that was actually a marketing technique so people would would buy it thinking it'd be the most powerful vacuum in its category. Anyway, it's a nice Hoover symbol right down there. You have five carpet height settings. This one has Hoover's ever so famous wind tunnel technology. This was the first vacuum to debut the wind tunnel technology. Basically how it works is there's three suction channels to channel the airflow in the vacuum head more effectively to try and pick up more dirt. Which there's a suction channel up top here that runs down to the front of the vacuum head. And then there's an, another one inside where the brush roll sits. And then there's another one behind the brush roll. So it's kind of a unique, unique way how it operates. Let's go ahead and flip it underneath. Right here, it's got a brand new brush roll by Cleveland Wood Products. And for those of you not, who are not familiar with Cleveland Wood Products, these are actually this, this is the same company that makes the brush rolls for... Kirby's and the br the bristles are very nice and stiff so it agitates the carpet very well Move around to the back here it does have a nice long cord it's much longer than the tempo cord but I'm convinced that it's not that it it's not really the longest cord because I think it's only like 26, 20, maybe 28 feet. And right here is the toes. It's not the longest, but thankfully it is flexible. And right here is where it mounts in. What I found kind of funny on these on these non-self-propelled wind tunnels is they have this old plastic door that closes up the 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 port for where you insert to have all the suction go down the vacuum head. Well, I find that a good thing because since the brush roll constantly turns on these things, it won't spew dust back back out of this hole. It's kind of funny the way it operates, but pretty nice to have. It does also come with two extension wands, so you have plenty of high reach. So anyway, let's go ahead and flip it back here and show you the model number. My camera will focus. It's model U5458-900. hundred. One twenty volts, 60 hertz, 12 amps. And this is made in Mexico. But, and also I would like to point out this was back when Hoover was manufactured under Maytag before they went to that TTI manufacturing. It was still the same machine, but the only difference is, is they changed the motor design with, to that louder and more, and more whining sounding high pitched motor, which, which still draws excellent suction, but you just have to deal with more noise on the newer machines compared to these. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And we'll go ahead and show you this baby running. Your power switch is right up on top here. Interesting way Hoover sets up the power switches. This is probably the same. This was the same for the Elites back then. But there's a rocker switch down inside the valley of the base. 
that's connected to the old school slider switch. So you still have that old sliding feel like you get on the Elites. So anyway, now let's go ahead and turn it on and show you it running. Running very smooth. Not as loud as my tempo. Vacuum is very easy to push and pull. In fact, look at this. See that? It propels itself. And you see every now and then while you're vacuuming, the dirt sensor will change from green to red. Very nice. So before we end the video, let's go ahead and show you the tools in action. Basically release that hose, pop that door down. This is just how long the hose is. So I'm gonna break out one of the extension wands. Switch on. A very powerful suction. The nice upside is you get on these compared to the leaf. Healthy fuel. The suction is so powerful it actually lifts up on the carpet. There's a jump seal. If I'm not giving you a good picture. Shut that down in there. Shut it down. Open this door back up. Insert the hose down in. And there you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Hoover Wind Tunnel Supreme. Be sure and stay tuned and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.